Hello everybody, welcome to the Seven Senses of the Reunion, episode 9, quick review. This was a good episode, I thought. I thought this was a a good episode, but nothing particularly new, unique, I will say. So, episode begins with Clive and Takanori fighting, because Takanori doesn't believe it's the real Clive, but then after a bit of fighting he does. And it turns out that Alicia asked Clive for help with awakening all the members of Subaru. Whatever that means, we don't know yet. Uh, and then Takanori thinks Nozomi's scared of him, and Satsuki's like, oh, good grief, because it turns out she actually likes him. Like, 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 likes him. I said like about five times then. She's now a model and doesn't play video games anymore, which is, you know, not a great trade-off. Just do both, duh. But like, they tell her that he's in the game, but she doesn't really believe them, I don't think. Uh, and then they all get a message about a dance party event. Which is, like, and at this point I was like, oh, okay, this is what we're doing. Got it. But uh, then Satsuki asks Karuto to ask her to dance instead of asking him herself. So then haruto has got that to think about. But then Takanori invites him to the grave. And he tells him he's going to invite Asahi, and then they have a fight. And then it turns out, yeah, they both love Asahi, which is like, oh, poor Satsuki. So then Takanori, I guess he gives up. He buries Asahi's ring that he had on the necklace. Then Satsuki gets turned down by Haruto and Takanori. But Takanori and Satsuki have like a, hey, we just both got rejected, so I guess we'll go together. I just made a bang. That's terrible. But then Haruto and Asahi have a little dance. Then we get a sweet flashback of Nozomi being like she's like cleaning the classroom alone, but then the rest of them come. Which is it was cool. I like it was, I like seeing stuff like that. It's like, oh yeah, this is how they became friends. Or not became friends, but yeah. But then Nozomi logs in and as luck would have it, the first thing she sees is Takanori and Satsuki dancing. So she thinks, Man, they're just being mean to me. They're pulling a prank on me, they don't like me or something. But then she gets like teleported to another location where she's confronted by members of Gnosis, including Pennywise the Dancing Clown for some reason. So uh yeah, this was a heavy on the the lovey dovey stuff kind of episode. Kind of annoyed that Haruto is with Asahi. I kinda of want him to be with Satsuki just because she's alive. But Apparently, Asahi might be alive as well. This show is not... This show is good, but not as good as I was expecting. But it's still it's still not bad. Like, I'm curious to see how it all ends up. Like, Clive also, like, disappeared at the end. And Alicia has, like, barely shown up for some reason. I don't... I thought she was going to be, like, a somewhat main part. But I guess... Guess not. But anyway, yeah, that was the end of this week's episode. It was pretty solid. Next week, uh... Maybe Nozomi will go bad and join the evil people. Oh, that'd be cool. What else could happen? Uh, the party could get wrecked. Parties generally get wrecked in anime, right? Anyway, I'm going to stop theorizing and just go. Bye, everyone.